Of Singapore Airlines Flight 321, it was heading from London to Singapore when about halfway through this 13-hour flight, it encountered what is being described by the airline as severe turbulence. And based off of what we have been seeing from some of the different flight records, it made a very quick descent to Bangkok to help take care of the injured. Uh, this is a Boeing 777-300. It's a very large aircraft. 211 people were on board as well as a crew of 18. This involved... All right, Shalom. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises, honor, and the glory to our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechah HaKodash, and double honors unto my apostles, the Elisha Grand Muslim Naruel. Peace, love, mercy, and salutations to the sincere brothers that are scattered, pushing the true doctrine of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, throughout, throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and in truth. And shall the warm unto the one third, which consists of men, women, and children who believe in our Lord Yahab Bashim Al Shai. All right, now I just played this video right here, um, you know, and it's playing currently in the background. Um, and this recently happened, all uh, right, one dead, at least 71 people injured at a severe turbulent, uh, turbulence hit Singapore Airlines, all right. Um, and this, I believe, um, was a couple of days ago, as I mentioned. Um, but this uh, plane was heading to London, all right? And and this goes to show you, okay, that, you know, there's been a lot of uh, fishy things happening, okay, with airlines, okay, you know, aircraft, all right? You know, people dying, all right? And so on and so forth. And then on top of that, just recently, my wife was, you know, uh, she took the plane, you know, to travel somewhere. I'm not, I'm not going to get, you know, in, into the details, <laughs> all right? But you know, a similar thing happened, all right, and, you know, she called me immediately, you know, um, when they landed, okay, her and her sister, all right, when they landed, she told me that they thought they were going to die, <laughs> you see, yo, you know, it might not be funny, but, you know, um, it goes to show you that at any moment, man, okay, at any moment, all right, if the Lord says, hey, man, you know, it's time to come back up, then, you know, who had resisted the Lord's will, all right? But she was freaking out, you know? She called me immediately, and she was saying that, they, you know, that they thought that they were going to die, all right? You know, they were told um, that there was something wrong with the lights, all right? Just right immediately when they were about to land, all right, they went back up again in the air, and they were freaking out, like, what the hell is going on? And then, you know, they were told, all right, you know, something needs to be fixed, and, you know, it's going to take 10 minutes when it actually took 45 minutes and they were just basically up in the air when they should have landed all right they were about to land all right but they had to go back up again and prior to them actually taking off from you know their location all right they were two hours delayed because there was some issues going on but they you know felt like they were not being told what was actually happening what the truth was you see, they were just basically being told something so that they don't, you know, um, you know, lose their shit or whatever. All right. But, you know, I say that to say that there's a lot of things that's been happening, you know, as of recent. All right. With, you know, um, these different airlines. All right. You know, um, you know, planes crashing and so on and so forth, man. OK, but, you know, the scriptures tell you. All right. That in these last days, there's going to be a lot of strange things going on. Okay, and then, you know, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, okay, with thunder, okay, with, you know, um, earthquakes, pestilences, okay, and things of that nature, all right? And ultimately, the scripture says that what? That man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man, okay, understand his own way? So the fact that, you know, that these people, you know, have died or, you know, it says one dead, but I believe there is probably more, all right? Because usually when they come up or when they, you know, um, share news like this, okay, those numbers are not actually accurate. It's, it's mostly more than what they actually show you, all right? But at the end of the day, the scriptures tell you, that again, man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? Because, you know, here it is, you know, you got your own plans. All right. You know, you're about to, you know, head over. All right. Do this and do that. But before you know it, OK, you know, you're stuck or you end up dead. You see, 
you end up dead. Why? Because ultimately, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is the one that runs everything. All right. And a lot of what you're hearing now is going to get worse and worse and worse because why? Because we're at the end. Okay. And there's going to be a lot of things, you know, that, you know, should bring you closer to the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. If this does not put fear in you, okay, then I don't know what will. Because ultimately, the Lord Yahab Hashem is showing his power every single day. All right? And Esau and his technology will not be able to save you. So even though Esau will tell you, oh, there's a very small chance, okay, of such and such happening, and there's a higher chance of such and such happening, nah, nigga. Okay, if the Lord Yahab Hashem says, this is going to happen today, then that's what's going to happen. So at the end of the day, okay, the scriptures say what? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Okay, because this also goes into what? You know, um, the video in which the elder Manatus Akbar did recently about there is a such thing as too late. Because you got people who they just roam around doing whatever the hell they want. Okay, whatever they can. And they forget Okay, that they got to put up prayers. They forget that, you know what, that their life is required of them this day. So there is a such thing as too late. Okay, and for that individual that had died. Okay, if they, you know, um, you know, if they are not a man or a woman of the Lord. Okay, which most likely they're not. All right. But let's say, you know, they're not. All right. Um, then it's too late for them. All right, so let's get this precept. This is in the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. All right, because as you see here, this could be used as an example of, hey, you know, um, if you don't seek the Lord, Yahabashim Asha immediately, okay, there's going to come to a time where he will not be found. All right. While he will not be near. And it will be too late. Alright. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And, will have, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power. For he will abundantly pardon. You see. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways. Saith the Lord. You see. So things that happen throughout the day. Okay, you know, um, things that happen throughout your life, okay, that was all written for you to go through, okay, that's, you know, your sentence or your reward, okay, which, you know, your reward, you know, could be either good or bad, okay, but ultimately the scripture says that what, for my wits are not your wits and my thoughts are not your thoughts, a lot of people, okay, might, you know, uh, be upset at what's happening, Okay, and then now they want to question the ways in which the Lord Yahabah Shemuel Shai does things. All right. The point is what? You being wicked, turn away from that shit, man. Okay. You're not praying enough, pray more. Okay. Because there's going to be a lot of things that's going to be happening very soon here. And it's just going to be happening one after another to a point where something that was very difficult to digest before will be easy to comprehend. Why? Because of the magnitude of other things happening, okay? And it's happening all at once. All right? So it says, it says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay? For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. All right. And the word of the Lord, Yahabah Hashem Shai. Okay is these prophecies in which the prophets are prophesying about. Telling the people to get right. Telling the people that more and more dangerous things are going to be happening very soon. 
Okay, and what it is that you need to do in order to be on the good side of the Lord, Yahweh, if you be an Israelite. All right? Because the scripture says what? That his word will not, will not return unto him void, but it's going to accomplish that which he pleases. Okay? And it says, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Okay? So when you hear about planes crashing, when you hear about people dying and so on and so forth, things just happening suddenly, okay, uh, things happening unexpectedly, guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave the signature of that for that to happen, man. All right, so just wanted to bring that out, Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will, and it was edifying. All right, until next time, Shalom Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Barakatah.